it might be time for those of us who identify the Ducati brand with V-Twins or L-Twins, as some prefer to call them, to reconsider. Although the Super Quadro V2 and Testastretta de Mos still thrive, the V4 Desmosetici Straight LR and Gran Turismo powerhouses are the ones that provide the most revenue these days. There is now a new non-twin engine for 2024 that promises to upend not just the opinions of some Ducati enthusiasts, but also our preconceived notions of what a single-cylinder engine ought to be. This engine is performance-focused and will generate headlines. The 549 cubic centimeter Super Mono Racer from the mid-1990s was Ducati's last single, and the Super Quadro Mono is the company's first production single since the bevel engines of the 1970s. The 659 cubic centimeters four-valve Desmo, which is essentially half of a 1,299 cubic centimeter Super Quadro V2 Panigale, produces 77.5 horsepower and reaches an incredible 10,250 RPM, making it the most potent and highest revving production single ever seen in the world. The brand new hypermotored 698 Mono, 333 pounds of extra light and quick steering fun and games, is the first vehicle to get the 698 Mono engine unit. It is a road-legal but practically race-ready supermoto scalpel. The chassis of the hypermotored is composed of a lightweight and fully adjustable 45mm Marzaki fork, a trellis frame weighing only 15.8 pounds, and cast alloy wheels in the shape of a Y, rather than the heavier wire spoke rims that are typically found in this class. A standard twin-arm swing arm and a fully adjustable sax rising rate monoshock provide the rear suspension, and the front and rear brakes are a single Brembo M4.32 caliper and 330mm disc and a single piston Brembo and 240mm disc, respectively. Modern cornering traction control, ABS, three power modes for riding modes, sport, road, urban, and wet, wheelie assist, which helps you pull and keep better wheelies. Engine brake control and launch control are all included because this is a Ducati. Additionally, non-expert riders may back into corners like pros using Ducati's slide-by-brake feature. More on this in a bit. The hypermotored 698 Mono is available in base and RVE slash SP versions, with the latter including dual-color wheels, an up-and-down quickshifter, and graffiti designs, similar to the larger and heavier hypermotored 950 V-Twin. The RVE is priced at $14,495, while the base model starts at $12,995. Together with a race seat, sump guard, and race foot pegs, our test RVE also had a very fruity, track-only Terminioni race exhaust system that increased peak power to 84.5 horsepower. These additions brought the total cost of the vehicle very close to $18,000, making the twin-cylinder hypermotored SP a competitor. Let's talk about that Super Quadro Mono, which breaks molds and revs freely. Although the 698 cubic centimeters capacity shown on the tin is not accurate, its true capacity is 659 cubic centimeters. The key figures pertain to its bore and stroke. It is substantially over square at 116 by 62.4 millimeters, just like the Panigale V2 it was evolved from. Low friction internal coatings and excellent twin balance shafts led it to rev to an unbelievable 10,250 RPM. Reflecting the high revving nature of this highly modern single, torque peaks at 46.3 lbft and a relatively high 8,000 RPM, while horsepower peaks at an equally wild 77.5 RPM. The Super Quadro Mono's extra short-stroke engine, as one might think, lacks the bottom-end power of the more conventional competitors, but according to Ducati, 80% of its torque is accessible between 4,500 and 10,250 RPM, and 70% of it is available between 3,000 and 4,500 RPM. And that's exactly how it feels. Traction is constantly present, if not abundantly so. When the DWC wheelie control is turned off, the bike always rides smoothly off the bottom and the front Pirelli readily lifts in the first three gears. The throttle response stays manageable no matter how busy things get, even in sport mode and with the 85 horsepower of the Termi-equipped RVE model available. All of this accessible propulsion is complemented by a chassis and suspension combination that performs exceptionally well on a supermoto course. The suspension parts of the basic model and RVE are the same. Sacks for the rear and Marzaki for the front. Both ends are completely adjustable. On the RVE's slippery Pirelli tires, we adjusted the suspension for track use. 
However, we used factory settings on the regular bike and Pirelli's, which speaks for itself. Ducati has cleverly designed the 698 to suit both riders who prefer to knee down on track days and those who prefer to race supermotos with their feet out. As a conventional knee down rider, I felt comfortable taking on the track despite having a tall seat and a long travel suspension system, 8.5 inches up front and 9.4 inches down behind. Because of the conventional fuel tank placement under the seat on some bikes and the noticeable weight over the front, you can feel the action of the Pirelli front will much like you would on a traditional sports naked bike and aren't made to feel as though the long travel forks are separating you from the contact patch. The pegs did occasionally tickle the track mid-corner, but only when slick tires were installed. However, what really sets the hypermotored 698 mono apart are the electronics. All riders are given permission to use the bike safely, regardless of expertise or risk tolerance, thanks to the combined influence of those riding, power modes, and a variety of rider supports. Supermoto novices can, for instance, activate additional lean-sensitive traction control and ABS, lower the wheelie control so the front Pirelli hovers only a few inches above the track, and then go for a fast lap. The electronics can be adjusted to fit them as their abilities and self-assurance develop. Especially inspiring is the brake Bosch Corning ABS slide. Learning how to get a bike to back in is difficult because you have to apply a lot of force when braking, shift through gears quickly, balance the clutch and back brake, and do it aggressively enough to lose traction. If you make a mistake, a painful high side is waiting for you, but the 698 Mono will support you the entire way. Brakes slide features four settings. Conventional lean sensitive ABS is provided by setting four, so the back tire won't come loose or spin back in. Supermoto beginners can utilize level 3 which I used in the rain and it allows for a minor skid. Level 2 permits the rear to apply pressure to the brakes without locking. Level 1 is limited to professionals and lacks cornering functionality. The front will retains ABS while the back will locks. With level 2 all I had to do was apply the back brake, downshift, release the clutch and brake hard, the electronics would take care of the rest. Its unrestricted Super Quadro Mono is the most potent single-cylinder engine available for purchase. Thanks to its great fuel efficiency and voracious appetite for RPM, it performs admirably at both low and high speeds. Its oil change intervals are even 10,000 miles wide. The steering is pin-sharp without being flimsy, and the chassis is light. Above all, the rider aids are outstanding and will assist both weekend aficionados and racers in safely honing their talents.